Welcome to uh, MATLAB demonstration of uh, predictive data mining. Uh, we are basically checking out this paper, Elsevier paper, whether analog a tool for real time prediction of the data. However, we uh, uh, enhance the solution with several other method that is uh, using neural network using a combo of neural network and KNN and as well as uh, using support vector machines now what uh, really is our objective is we have data of uh, uh, 11 years that is starting from 2000 to 2011 uh, of a place called Belgao in Karnataka India and the data is such that it's divided into month wise data every year's data is divided into a month wise uh, data there are several parameters that is temperature temperature maximum temperature minimum uh, humidity uh, uh, pp and then velocity uh, moving velocity uh, etc so uh, what really our objective is uh, to predict the uh, weather of future now how do you know that the prediction is perfect so what we do is we assume that we have data only up to 2005 and use this data to build our model and then we carry out the prediction for next several years uh, because we have the data of next uh, 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 five to six years available with us the prediction value can be compared with the real value to see uh, what uh, basically is there and so we'll go straight away with the data and uh, we'll first load the data so once we load the data it's going to load all the year wise data and along with uh, all the parameters so as the data is loaded as you can see different uh, parameters it's going to show in the window and we are going to build a model out of them now uh, we'd like to uh, you know predict that uh, you know what could be the possibility of the plant disease powdery mildew at around something so we're going to uh, give a date say 160 so that would be around fifth month uh, if you enter the year uh, six that suggests it's 2006 let us predict the disease it seems very low probability now how do we know really that this uh, value is accurate so it's about fifth month so around june All right so this is our data now if you look at the data very carefully you know uh, it's a burning period is about november where uh, the correlation is very high and uh, if the rainfall is like for four weeks uh, if there is a rainfall then it's it's a bit higher and also uh, from uh, you know september 15 to october 15 this is uh, the the probability of such diseases is a bit higher so taking the clue from uh, this now if we go for say something around november i mean something around october so 260 and see uh, it shows that um, the, you know there is a probability of uh, heavy uh, you know disease because change of uh, pm value is uh, high now again if we come back to say around 100 days and uh, try to predict the disease very low probability of disease so we can match it in this fashion now I also do want to uh, get the weather of 2006 on about March month. Yeah, I'll be going for predict weather using pure neural network is a neural network based uh, method which is going to give me the error value. You can check up the performance graph of neural network which uh, nicely converges.
result you get, you can see that the value of temperature was given as 22 and the uh, predicted value was 22 accurate. The mean square error if you over here is the total mean square error. Then you can see 23.7 which was uh, the minimum value and our system predicts it around 21. Uh, then the next value that is the maximum temperature in the month of uh, beginning of March it was 31 we are detecting it as 29. Um, similarly, HH value which was 15, we are detecting it as 13, so it uh, gets pretty close. And this graph over here gives you an um, uh, you know uh, overview of how close the actual and predicted values are, which you can see uh, that they are really, uh, really, really close. Now, you can also go with uh, KNN plus uh, NN based technique where the uh, data will be divided into two parts one will be going to uh, key nearest neighbor classifier one will be going for neural network both will be trained the result will be obtained and the result obtained from either of the classes will then be averaged in order to give you the uh, details you predict it using multi-class as we are man as and when we do that uh, you know it will show you the actual values of the given date the predicted uh, values so here also you can see that uh, it remains pretty much close and you can similarly use the KNN plus neural network combo so uh, this is how you can actually predict the weather and the system uh, can be used for future values now here in this case is instead of uh, giving uh, the specific year you have to give say for instance if you are going to uh, uh, you know uh, try to predict the value of 2015 instead of 4 you need to come across it uh, 15 so uh, that will predict the value however uh, there is no chance of us to cross validating if the values are correct or not so we will be going with uh, this technique of uh, checking out uh, with the existing values in order to know how close our data is. So this is how we are uh, uh, using the predictive data mining method of neural network KNN and SVM to predict the weather of a specific date as well as uh, a, a smart system, decision uh, support system.